Dar hailed from Belgrano, a district in Buenos Aires, Argentina. His father, Richard Oscar Dar, originally from Berlin and of German descent with Huguenot roots, relocated to Argentina in 1888 as part of Engelbert Hart & Company, a German import-export business. Dar's mother, Emilia Berta Eleonor Lagergren, born in Buenos Aires to a Swedish father and German mother, lived with a strained marriage. Dar grew up in a prosperous yet turbulent household, where his father was remembered as a heavy drinker and philanderer. Despite this, they ensured a private education for their children until geopolitical tensions preceding World War I compelled them to return to Germany. At the age of nine, Dar was sent to Heidelberg for schooling, later attending King's College School in Wimbledon as an exchange student in 1911. The family reunited in Germany in 1912, and Dar continued his education at the Oberrealschule in Gummersbach, followed by the Kolonialschule in Witzenhausen in early 1914, where his interest in agriculture was sparked. Dar's plans to return to Argentina after the war were thwarted by the family's financial struggles amidst inflation. Instead, he pursued further education in Witzenhausen and engaged in farm work in Pomerania, where he observed the plight of returning German soldiers, influencing his future writings. By 1922, Dar enrolled at the University of Halle, focusing on agricultural studies, particularly animal husbandry. Despite delays, he completed his PhD in 1929 at the age of 34, during which time he also worked in East Prussia and Finland. Dar married twice, first to Almastad in 1922, with whom he had a daughter named Annalise, and then to Charlotte Freyen von Wittinghofschel in 1931, with whom he had another daughter named Ellen in 1938. As a young man in Germany, Dar initially joined the Artaman League, a focus youth group dedicated to the Back to the Land movement. Within this community, he began to formulate the concept of the connection between the future of the Nordic race and the land, a notion later coined as Blut und Boden, or blood and soil. In this ideology, blood represents race and ancestry, while soil symbolizes territory and land. Central to this theory was the idea of a deep and enduring relationship between a people and the land they inhabit and cultivate. Dar's early political writings, starting with his first article in 1926, focused on internal colonization, arguing against Germany's efforts to reclaim lost African colonies. However, much of his early work centered on technical aspects of animal breeding. His first book, Peasantry as the Life Source of the Nordic Race, published in 1928, advocated for a return to the ancient tradition of bestowing farms on the strongest son to ensure quality farmers, decrying the fragmentation of inheritance that had undermined this practice. He also called for the rejuvenation of Nordic blood through eugenics. Anna Bramble, in her biography of Dar, interprets his writings as early manifestations of the green or conservationist thought, highlighting his advocacy for natural land management and conservation of forests, as well as his promotion of spacious and airy conditions for farm animals. However, some scholars dispute this interpretation, criticizing Bramble's work for lacking credible evidence and containing factual errors. Despite this, Bramwell's biography remains a significant source on Dar, albeit one that some feel downplays his fascist inclinations. Among those influenced by Dar's ideas was Heinrich Himmler, himself a member of the Artaman League. Dar's work also extolled the peasant virtues he embodied by rural Nordics while denigrating urban living. In his major works, he portrayed the German peasantry as a racially homogeneous group of Nordic descent, asserting their cultural and racial centrality to the German nation. Furthermore, he warned of the long-term threat of extinction facing the Nordic race due to its lower birth rate compared to other races. In July 1930, following an introduction by Paul Schulzenaumberg, Dar became a member of the Nazi party, hashtag 248, 256, and the SS, hashtag 6, 882, after meeting Adolf Hitler. On January 1, 1932, Heinrich Himmler, the chief of the SS, Reichsfuhrer SS, appointed him as the head of the newly established SS Race and Settlement Main Office. This organization, steeped in racist and anti-Semitic ideologies, was tasked with enforcing racial policies and ensuring the racial purity of SS members. Dar's SS rank rose steadily, reaching SS Group Leader, SS Gruppenführer, in 1932 and SS Senior Group Leader, SS Obergruppenführer, in November 1934. During the 1932 presidential election, Dar orchestrated a campaign of anti-Semitic harassment against Theodor Duesterberg, a candidate of the conservative German National People's Party. Duesterberg, revealed during the campaign to be the grandson of a Jewish convert to Lutheranism, was deeply wounded by Dar's attacks and challenged him to a duel. Dar declined the challenge, citing his refusal to duel with someone of a Jewish blood. 
Despite this, Dar's actions were upheld by the court of honor to which he belonged. Dar entered the Reichstag in July 1932 and remained a deputy until the regime's collapse. Although he was not part of Hitler's initial coalition government, he assumed the position of Reich Minister of Food and Agriculture on June 29, 1933, following the passing of the Enabling Act. In this role, he succeeded Alfred Hugenberg and concurrently served as Prussian Minister of Agriculture. He also became Reich Farmer's leader, Reichsbauernführer, in May 1933 and was appointed as a national leader, Reichsleiter, of the party on June 2, 1933. Additionally, he was a founding member of the Hans Franks Academy for German Law in October 1933. Dar played a crucial role in establishing the Nazi Reich Food Society, Reichsnerstand, as part of the Nazification process. He advocated for the redistribution of land from large landowners to create new farms and pushed for the implementation of the hereditary farm law Reichserbhofgesetz, which transformed most small farms into hereditary estates. This law, while protecting small farmers from foreclosure, bound them and their descendants to their farms indefinitely. At the Nazi Agricultural School in Berg Neuhaus, Dar promoted Nordic racial purity through eugenics and the concept of a, a new nobility of blood and soil. He developed plans for Rasse und Rom, Race and Space, in line with Hitler's expansionist ideologies outlined in Mein Kampf. Dar's influence extended to Himmler, who shared his vision of creating a German racial aristocracy through selective breeding. However, Himmler eventually distanced himself from Dar, deeming him too theoretical for the implementation of extreme eugenic policies, which ultimately led to the annihilation of millions. Despite his expertise in his field, Dar had strained relations with economy minister Jalmerschacht, particularly during periods of poor harvests in the mid-1930s. Dar's influence began to decline as both Hitler and Himmler came to perceive him as overly theoretical and ineffective in administration. By September 1938, Himmler insisted that Dar relinquish his leadership of the SS Race and Settlement main office to Gunther Pank. Later, on May 23, 1942, Dar was placed on an extended leave of absence from his position as Reich Minister, ostensibly due to health reasons, and his duties were assumed by his state secretary, Herbert Back. Although Dar technically remained Reich Minister until April 6, 1944, he was effectively sidelined from May 1942 onwards and retreated to his hunting lodge in the Scorfiade Forest outside Berlin until the collapse of the Nazi regime. In a transcript of a speech purportedly given by Dar in 1940 and published in Life magazine on December 9, 1940, he outlined a vision of German dominance through Blitzkrieg, the subjugation of non-German populations as slaves, and the restriction of higher education to Germans. After the war, Dar was arrested by American authorities in April 1945, interned at Flakkazern Ludwigsburg, and tried at the Nuremberg trials as one of 21 defendants in the ministry's trial. He faced charges related to participation in wars of aggression, crimes against humanity, and membership in criminal organizations. While found not guilty on some counts and dismissed on others due to lack of evidence, he was convicted of atrocities against civilian populations, plunder, and membership in criminal organizations. Dar was sentenced to seven years at Landsberg Prison, from which he was released in 1950. He spent his final years in Bad Harzburg before passing away in a Munich hospital on September 5, 1953, due to liver cancer. He was buried in Goslar. Dar's written works focused primarily on the ancient and contemporary Nordic peasantry and the ideology of blood and soil. He explicitly criticized Christianity in his major writings, accusing it of undermining the moral foundations of the Teutonic nobility by promoting the equality of men before God, which eroded their innate sense of superiority. His key works include The Peasantry as Life Source of the Nordic Race, 1928, and New Nobility from Blood and Soil, 1930. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share it. Your support is greatly appreciated, and you can find details on how to support my channels through PayPal in the description box below.